let's get right into this. I want to deal with a topic this morning entitled, Stand in Faith. Stand in Faith. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 13 states the following. It says this, Watch, stand fast in the faith, be brave and be strong. Alright, so we need to watch, but we need to stand solid in the faith. Now, what does that mean practically? What does it mean to stand fast in the faith? All right, it's really important that we get this. All right, and this is what it means. We need to stand in what you believe. What is it that you actually believe? Do you believe that God can come through for you? Do you believe that God can do a miracle for your family? Do you believe that His Word is truly His Word? Do you believe that He can make a difference in your situation? You see, what happens is this, is we all go through things, all right? We all go through situations. We all have something that is not godly. We all have something that's not correct. In other words, there's always an attack. There's always something that the devil tries to steal from us. There's always something that the devil tries to change or shift. All right, but this morning I want to ask you this. Are you prepared to genuinely allow the Spirit of God to work in your life? Are you prepared to say, God, I'm going to stand strong, I'm going to stand solid, and I'm going to do what your Word tells me to do? You see, because this is going to be a battle. This is going to be something that you are going to have to fight. This doesn't just come easily. And so we need to make a decision today. Am I going to stand fast in my faith? Am I going to stand fast in those things that I believe? All right. Do you really believe that God can make a difference? Do you really believe that if I pray, He hears my, my prayers? Because if you do, you need to stand fast in that. Because God is looking for men and women to stand solid. Men and women to sit down and say, God, I'm not going to be moved. I'm not going to allow the devil in and to make it a, a thing in my life. But I know, like I know, that there is going to be a shift and a change in anything that you do for me. And so this morning I want to challenge us. Are we actually standing fast in what we believe? Or are we swayed by what the media say? Are we swayed by somebody's opinion? You know, very often... We sit down and we say we are solidly born again. We are solidly sold out to the Lord. We are going to do what God wants us to do. Are we really? Do we really, really believe that? Do we really sit down and say, God, I know like I know that you are going to come through no matter what evidence I see before me. You know, I have so many Christians who have fallen away from their belief fallen away from what they, they believed all the years and stood in and they became these weak, wishy-washy Christians. Why? Because they're not standing fast in their faith. Now, how do I stand fast in my faith? I keep reading the Word. The more I read the Word, the more I get into the Word, the stronger it's going to be in my life. All right? The stronger it's going to come as an evidence in my life. You know, when I sit down and I see the power of God move, I know that God is going to come through for me again. All right, this is what we've had to do all these years. We've had to stand fast against people's opinions, against people's good intentions even. You know, not everybody who comes to you to give you advice is out to hurt you. And sometimes they give you this wonderful secular advice, but it's not in line with the Word of God. And so we've had to stand and fight and say, God, we stand on your word. We believe your word and we know that you're going to do something for us. And God has come through for our family time and time and time again. God has come through. Why? Because we believed him. We believed his word. We knew that God can do it and he will do it again for us in Jesus name. So this morning when we come around the table, when we come into God's presence, let us renew our faith. Let us renew our stand again and say, God, I thank you that you have paid the price for me. 
and that you are going to do something supernatural for each one of us in Jesus' name. Amen? All right. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. And the body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection, and provision. And so right now, as we take of these elements, let us ask God to renew a revelation of who He is, so that we can stand fast in Him, stand fast in our faith, in Jesus' name. Lord, we come before You this morning. We ask You please to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, any wrong action, any wrong motive. Lord, I thank You right now in the mighty name of Jesus that you're going to do something supernatural for each one of us. And Lord, I thank you that as you forgive us, Lord, we stand righteous before you. And Lord, I thank you that we are going to see the power of God move like never before in our lives. We thank you, Lord, for your blessing. We thank you for the anointing of God. And Lord, I thank you that we will not be the same again. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's not take together, saints. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, I just release your healing power over our physical bodies. I thank you, Lord, that by your stripes we were healed. Lord, I thank you that we are healed by the power of God and the anointing of God. Lord, I thank you right now that we walk in divine health and divine blessing in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you that no symptom is near our bodies in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I'm so excited to be with you. I tell you what, it is a wonderful day to be alive. And, uh, you know, as we come before God on this Wednesday morning, <clears throat> I tell you what, it is a privilege to seek and love the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so this morning we're going to pray over the government. We're going to trust God that God is going to do something in our government. And He's going to do something supernatural. I want to tell you more and more. People are standing up and standing up for righteousness in this nation. More and more, there are people praying and trusting God for a supernatural move of God in this nation. And we are going to see it because we as a nation are starting to wake up. So let's pray. Lord, I pray right now for our government. I pray for any form of leadership and authority. Lord, whether it be national government, local government, whatever it is, our schools, Father, I pray right now that every single person would come and be submitted to your spirit. Lord, I bind any demonic voice that is speaking into their ears. Father, I pray a peace over each and every one. But Lord, I pray that they'll have the wisdom to do what is right. Lord, that you will lead them, direct them. And Lord, I thank you that your word promises that you've got the king's heart in your hand and you'll direct him in any direction. Lord, I release the power of God over our leadership. And I thank you, Lord, that we will see a supernatural miracle take place in the leadership of our nation. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you for your blessing. We thank you for your absolute miraculous power moving in our lives. And Father, I pray right now for the peace over our nation. Lord, I release peace over our nation, blessing over our nation, in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said... Amen and Amen. All right, folks, let's, uh, I want to remind you that we're in the middle of our winter school. So please, tonight, we've seven o'clock, we've still got all of the teachings going. So please get ready for that. And uh, so we're going to be teaching and giving you some good word for the next two weeks. Amen. All right, let's get into our declaration. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, I want to tell you right now, go out with might, go out with valor, go and release the power of God wherever you go in Jesus' mighty name. So God bless you, have an awesome day, and see the power of God work and move in your life. Amen and amen.